Okay, so I've already come across a fourth scenario, and it's kind of an adaptation of the third scenario. So if you have something like Markdown, for example, you might have the Markdown itself that needs to be formatted, maybe coloring and bolding of the output, for example, with headers versus just paragraph content. Well, inside of that Markdown, you might have something like a code block, and you might denote the language for that. And so if a Markdown formatter is going through the output of a Markdown file, it might switch languages and format the code block different than the rest of the Markdown file. So that's the premise or the background for this fourth scenario, because what I really wanna say is that that applies to command line output in general. So the ability to have nested formats or nested languages, that can come up quite often when you're dealing with command line output. For example, if you're dealing with the curl command, if you're dumping out the headers, you might see that, and to style the headers will require identifying the header name and then the header value. And then that will be different than styling whatever the response body contains or even the request body. All right, so if I were to run curl here and hit google.com, in this case, I get back some HTML. That would be part of the response body. And if I add the dash V flag here, I can get the headers as well. This is definitely an example where some syntax coloring, maybe even pretty print, would help to read the contents. So in this case, if I split the screen here, on the right-hand side, I could use a different command called httpy. It's pi with a P-I-E, but the command is just HTTP. I could hit google.com then. I can mirror the same dash V flag. And now I've got some coloring, so I can see the headers are all in green, the name of the header, and then the value is yellow. And then down below in the HTML, I can see tags are styled with blue, and then attributes are a cyan color, and there's even some emphasis on specific values. And of course, if I were to do HTTP in a set of Google, I could go to pi.dev slash git. This endpoint returns JSON. So in the response body here, instead of HTML, I have JSON. And of course, that has to be styled differently. So HTTP pi is something that is specific to a given use case, which is dealing with web requests. And it comes with the ability to understand nested languages within the output.